All right, hopefully the auto low light's working. So we got everything plugged in. We got the closed center plug in. Uh, we're getting some screeching in the front end loader valve. It works, um, but there's definitely some screeching in the front end loader valve. As you can see, we've lost our light. So we're going to come back tomorrow. I think the O-ring may have been in there wonky. Um, we're going to check that. And if that doesn't work, we're going to get us a new front end loader valve. Um, I was debating about it anyway, but I cheaped out and tried to use what I had since it was working, but it's not working right now. So we've closed everything up. we got to close up the battery box and uh, we'll come back out tomorrow morning, pull the closed center plug back out, check, double check the O-ring, make sure it's copacetic. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, we try and find a new uh, front end loader valve, that right there, if you can even see it. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, we'll be back with you tomorrow. All right, so I messed around with it a little bit. I found basically an extra O-ring on it, the old O-ring, it was kind of old and crusty. So we're gonna try and start it up again and see if it still screeches like holy heck. Probably will, but it may have let it go in just enough to stop that. We'll find out here in a second. Hopefully the GoPro doesn't fall off. Should be on there okay. So, you heard the noise, it's awful, can't really deal with that. It... Um, so the o-ring looks like it's seated right and I pulled the extra o-ring off as a test. We're going to keep fiddling around with it for a little bit and if we can't figure it out, um, we're going to buy a whole new front end loader um, control valve. So, I don't think it has to do with these. I, I still think it has to do with the closed center plug. So we're going to keep messing with it until we figure it out or buy a new loader thingy. We'll be back in a little bit. Alright, so... We didn't end up having to replace the loader valve. What we did um, is tighten down the pressure relief all the way. And what do you know, noise is gone. So the pressure relief was set to uh, low for this tractor. Um, and I was recommended to tighten it down all the way. It'll work for now. I still think I'm gonna replace the front end loader controller eventually. Um, but the next thing we need to do is change all the hydraulic fluid and filters and and uh, then we should be good to go, clean the screen, and that should be it on this project. So in the next session, we're going to change all the fluids, drain it, and fill it. Thanks again.